hello everyone the today video is about exporting the data into the excel file so i have created a simple table and my table contains some data right so now i'm going to export this data into a excel file or csv right so how you can do this so there is a simple library which is laravel excel so this will do your job right so in the previous video we learned that how we can install this library and how to uh, how to import the data into the database so let's get started so let me go to the documentation and tell you that how you can install this library right so let's go here and click on this installation so there is uh, only one step of installation so you need to copy this command and then you need to paste this command in your terminal so this will be uh, this will be uh, through run through this composer so your composer should be installed okay so you need to hit on enter and it will install for you in my case i have already installed it right so let me uh, show you uh, show it to you that uh, from this composer.json and yes uh, i have the latest version of 3.0 one right so you can also uh, download it from there and uh, there is no other steps these are automatically added by comp uh, added by discovery package and then uh, this is optional stuff you can do this or not so it will uh, export the configuration file right so let's go here and now we are going to export right so let's click on five minute quick start and uh, first you need to create an export class right so you can create this from this command so this command is php rt and export user export okay let's start it so uh, my uh, command is php rt send make export and what is the name of export so in this case we are going to book export right so I, i'm naming this book export okay and then you, uh, you need to put double flag and define your model name so in our case now we are applying this on the book model so that's why i'm defining the book here and hit enter and yes it says that bo export created successfully and this will be created in the app directory and in the app directory uh, it's a export directory so go to the app and uh, let me go here and check that where it is and yes its export is there so let's click on this book export and yes there is a collection method and it's uh, returning all books which means that it will export all the books right so that's what we want so let's close this one you don't need to do other things so it will uh, automatically get all the books from the database and then download them so how you can run this uh, run this export so i have created a simple stuff so in the first one i am opening this uh, uh, table here and then i have created another route so this route a uh, get route so when i click on this uh, button so it will uh, open a new method which is export and i return exporting right so let me open this export from method and uh, let me go to the export and yes so it's a simple exporting right so here we need to export uh, put our export logic so what is logic so let's go to the documentation and uh, uh, this is a uh, our file and now export is uh, uh, you need to put this right so return download and here you need to type return download oops is it my text teacher is not suggesting me why because i forgot the excel here okay click on excel so uh, namespace will be added at the top so let me show it to you and yes so it's added at the top and then here you need to type the download not export okay and then first instance is your export name so in our case it's a book export okay books export <laughs> try to I choose the right file not import okay and then next parameter would be the your file name so in our case it's a 
box dot uh, you need to define your extension properly xl xl s x okay so it's good so let's put a semicolon here and now we are going to export an excel file right so let's click on this uh, export and this file will be going to export so let me open the google sheet here so i don't have ms office so let me open this uh, google sheet google sheet okay our file is exported successfully so now i'm going to open this so go to the sheet and let me open this file okay click on this blank hope you are familiar with this google doc so this is online version of ms office so <laughs> there is nothing new so let me click on this uh, file of file option and then choose this file oh it's still loading click on this open and then you need to choose your file okay so let me choose this file and we downloaded this books one dot xlx right so now uh, it's opening so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and uh, yes it's i'm choosing this books dot xlx right and uh, yes it's now opening this file and take eye on it and yes now it's contain the data of this uh, these two one the seven eight and these bajorne structure and c plus plus and here we have two data right so we successfully exported our file so you can also export csv format so you can name this like csv so it will export to uh, like uh, as csv right so click on this export and now it's going to uh, yes now it's opened this c in the csv format so you, you can open it here right so let me open this uh, from the download folder okay and uh, yes it's uh, this one and uh, let's wait for a moment to complete this process so and yes this one is the export of uh, this one is a csv export so hope you learn this uh, you know, learn a lot from this tutorial because uh, this is very useful when you are building uh, smaller or bigger projects so uh, also you need to <clears throat> here one more thing you need to check that here you if you have multiple files right so you need to name this like books and then you need to specify a time object here why i'm adding this time because it will generate uh, the random number because every time uh, every uh, every time uh, after one second it will be the value will be changed so i'm changing this books dot time and then uh, i am concatenating with this dot csv right so now it will generate the book uh, dot 111 and dot csv dot csv so let's click on it and check that and yes now it's uh, downloading that books dot and this is the integer time is in the integer format and dot csv so hope you uh, learn hope you understood this uh, concept so if you are uh, having some problems shoot in the comments box and i will meet you in the next one bye bye